All right, all right, let's check it out. Let's check it out, 7.30 a.m. It is fully charged, taking it off the charger now. Nothing like that fresh cup of coffee in the morning. What's going on everyone, Josh Quinones here. And today I'm gonna be doing one of my all day real life battery drain tests with the Google Pixel 5a. So it's just a little past 7.30 in the morning as you can see there. I literally just woke up a little while ago, but I wanted to try and start this test as early as possible. I wanted to start it a little bit earlier, but had a hard time waking up this morning, not gonna lie. But yes, today I'll be testing out the battery on this device, my all day real life battery drain test. And the way this works is every couple of hours throughout the day, I'll be up updating you guys, letting you know what my usage has been like with the device, what my screen on time is, and what my battery percentage is at at that time. And I'll tell you guys right now, the experience with battery life on this device so far has been a great, I mean, this, the battery life on this device is so, so good. So really curious to see what's gonna happen today. I'm, tr I'm gonna try to give it some really, really heavy usage and try to get it to die down to zero before the end of the day. I'm not sure if I'll even be able to do that. This might end up being a two day battery drain Brain test. We're just gonna have to wait and see. Like I said, battery life on this device is really, really good. Now, it will be mixed usage between being on a Wi-Fi connection and being on that 5G connection or LTE connection, whatever it is I have at that time, uh, just to keep it as fair as possible because it does use up more battery when not on a Wi-Fi connection. And you know, if you wanna save a little bit more battery, then that's when it will be on a Wi-Fi connection. And you know, not everybody is able to stay home all day long to be connected to Wi-Fi. So that's why I kinda wanna, you know, keep it as fair as possible and go back and forth between being on a Wi-Fi connection and 5G connection throughout my day. I'm gonna be keeping it at max brightness, but I do have dark mode turned on as well within the settings and all that. So again, it's a little past 7.30 in the morning. So I'll be updating you guys in the next couple of hours, like I said, to let you know what my usage has been like, what my screen on time is at that time and what my battery percentage is at that time as well. So I'll catch you guys in a little bit. Wait a minute. Has my hair looked like that this whole time? I forgot to do my hair. I still got my bed hair going on. Oh man, catch you guys in a little bit. All right, so I am back and you know, I made sure to do my hair this time so it doesn't look like I just got out of bed. But anyway, so the time is now 11. 52 a.m. So about four hours and 22 minutes since we've taken this device off the charger. And I gotta say, battery life on the Pixel 5a is insane. I mean, it's been holding up great so far, but let's go ahead and jump into the device to see what my battery percentage is like, what my screen on time is, and what my usage has been like so far. Okay, so let me go ahead and go into my settings here. Actually, let's turn the brightness down just a little bit. That way you guys can see the phone better. There we go. So let's go into the settings. Let's see, battery. So we are currently now at 78% battery life left, which is not bad at all for being about four and a half hours later now. It is now 12 p.m., 78% battery life left with a screen on time of two hours and 57 minutes. So about three hours of screen on time. Look at that, just need three more minutes to get there. But let's go ahead and go into my usage battery usage. So as you can see, I've used uh, quite a bit of YouTube, hour and two minutes, uh, some TikTok, 29 minutes. I played some DB Legend, Dragon Ball Legends for 19 minutes, uh, Twitter for 20 minutes, the Pixel Launcher and the camera. And for some reason, it's not showing me the rest of my usage because I did use the phone. I was sending out text messages as well. And I use other apps like my Gove app to control the lights here in the background, the phone app to make a phone call. And we do gotta remember that screen on time isn't everything when it comes to draining the batteries on these devices. You also gotta take into account the sound that's being used out of the speakers, whether it's the earpiece when you're talking on the phone or the actual speaker when watching content or listening to music, because that does use up battery as well. It's not all just about screen on time. But for some reason, some of the other apps that I used are not showing up here, even if I try Try to scroll down so not really sure what's up with that maybe i don't know i have to wait a little bit and, and then they'll load up on here uh, but for some reason they're not showing so this is some of my usage here again we are at let me go ahead and go back or actually even if we go into show full device usage look at that it takes away even more of the app so we're currently at two hours and 58 minutes of screen on time it is now 1202 p.m 78 percent battery life left not doing bad at all saying we have about a day and three hours left i don't know i'm going to continue using this phone throughout the day and i'll be back to update you guys in another couple of hours and i am back with another update as you can see it is now 3 16 p.m so just a little over three hours from the very last time i updated you guys we are now at 46 percent battery life rocking that lte connection let's go ahead and go into my battery settings here as you can see still got that display at max brightness 
Battery settings, here we go. 46% battery life and look at this screen on time. Five hours and 47 minutes. There's some flagship devices out there that cost a whole lot more than this phone right here that can barely get that much screen on time with their full 100% battery. Look at this, 46% battery life left. I am very impressed with this $450 device right here when it comes to the battery. Again, a $450 phone with a battery life this good is truly impressive. Let's go ahead and go into my battery usage here. So this is pretty much what it's been like today. Got some YouTube there, TikTok, Twitter, Call of Duty. Now, when it comes to the Call of Duty, I actually played a lot more than what it shows right here. Right now it's showing 25 minutes, but I kind of had an accident earlier. So I downloaded this game today uh, to start playing it again. I logged into my account, played a full game. And then after I was done with that full game, I was just scrolling through the screen right here. And I noticed it kind of just put itself on the display over here. And I didn't want it there on this home screen. So, you know, I was just gonna tap and hold and remove it. But instead of removing it, I accidentally uninstalled it up there. And I guess when you uninstall apps, it'll take away that screen on time information from your battery settings. I didn't know that. Like I said, it was just an accident. So what it's showing right here, the 25 minutes, I actually played a lot longer than that. I would say anywhere from around 50 minutes to an hour. So yeah, it just kind of took that information away. But anyway, so we got the pixel launcher for 25 minutes. That's just kind of when, you know, I'm scrolling from home screen to home screen, trying to figure out what I'm doing <laughs> on the device. Uh, the camera for eight minutes, recorded a little bit of 4K video, took some pictures. I will be doing more of that in a little bit. Uh, Dragon Ball Z Legends, I didn't really play any more of that. Got the Google Play Store when I was just kind of searching around for apps. Uh, my Gmail, Photos, Gove Home, and Chrome browser. So this is pretty much what my usage has been like so far today. Again, very impressed, 46% battery life left. Will it get me to the end of the day or late into the night? At least I'm pretty sure it will. But I am using my phone just a little bit more than I usually do. Like I said, I'm going to try and heavily use this device all day long. Usually I'm not on my phone all day long the entire day because you know I do work during the day. So I'm sure on a regular day for me when I'm working all day and can't really use my phone that much, this battery would do so much better and I'll probably get two full days out of it. But since I've been using it heavily, heavily all day long today, it is draining the battery a little bit quicker than what it usually does, but still very impressed. So again, it's 3.19 p.m. I'll be back in a bit. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Come on, come on, first place. Oh, dang, did I win? I saw, oh, still got first. All right, all right, all right. So I am back with another update, as you can see been testing out some gaming there uh, to see how this device handles more gaming. So right there, I was playing Asphalt 9. And so far, it's actually been handling gaming uh, pretty good. I did notice a little bit of hiccuping here and there with Asphalt 9, but with Call of Duty and Dragon Ball Legends, I didn't notice any hiccuping or anything like that. But the device isn't doesn't feel hot or anything, so it actually handled it pretty good. But like I said, there were little tiny moments of little hiccups here and there, but for the most part, it actually handled gaming really good. But right now it is currently seven o'clock p.m., so about four hours later from the last time I updated you guys. Look at that, 26% battery still remaining. So let's go ahead and jump into the battery settings and see what uh, my usage has been like and what our screen on time is right now. All right, so jumping into the battery settings here, like I said, we are now at 26% battery life at seven o'clock p.m. or 7.02 p.m. And look at this screen on time, eight hours and one minute of screen on time. Absolutely insane. Still have 26% battery life left to go. I'm pretty, I, I don't know, maybe we can make the 10 hours of screen on time or maybe even more. I haven't used the phone this heavily yet until today. So I'm actually really surprised with how good it's doing. But let's go ahead and go in to my usage here. And I'll, I will also point out that I am currently on that Wi-Fi connection. So I've been switching it uh, back and forth uh, every hour or so between uh, Wi-Fi connection and the LTE or 5G connection. But I did leave the house uh, a little while ago. And of course I was on the LTE connection or 5G, whatever connection it is I have at in that area. And I also used the Google Maps, which did help drain the battery as well. But let's go and take a look at some of my usage. As you can see, we got some more YouTube right here, two hours and two minutes, Twitter for an hour and 11 minutes, TikTok 41 minutes, uh, Call of Duty right there, still at 25 minutes. But like I said, uh, it kind of deleted what I played before that. So it should be around maybe 50 minutes. Pixel Launcher, Asphalt 9. Uh, it still hasn't added the new time that I was just playing right now on camera. I did notice that it takes a while 
to add on what you do to this uh, battery usage, at least as far as this uh, screen on time usage goes. So I'm sure in about maybe 10, 15 minutes, it will add my new usage for Asphalt 9 there. So in the next update, we'll be able to see that. Google Play Store, camera, Dragon Ball Legends, uh, use the Chrome browser for a little bit. As you can see, I used Maps for a little bit too. We got 10 minutes there. Even though I was going down the street, I wanted to use it anyways, just you know, see how it would drain the battery, even if it was for a little bit. Gmail, photos, and the Gobi Home. So this is pretty much what my usage has been like today. Very, very impressed. I know I've been saying this this whole video, but the battery on this device has been a great so far. Again, 26% battery life left. 7.04 p.m. I don't know, I'll probably give you guys one more update. I'll probably wait till it gets down to 0% rather than just waiting another three or four hours because who knows, in three hours, what if it only gets down to 10% and then I gotta wait you know, another who knows how long for it to get down to zero. So instead of doing that, I'm just gonna wait till this gets down or close to 0%. That way we can be able to see what all my usage has been like and the final screen on time as well. But this is where we're at so far. So I will see you guys when this gets close to 0%. Woo, all right, all right, we did it. We finally made it to the end. As you can see here, it is now 10.52 p.m. As you can see right there on the screen, we are now at 5% battery life. I didn't wanna let it drain completely down to 0% because then I wouldn't really be able to show you what my final usage and screen on time is. So I thought, you know what, I'll let it die down to 5% so I can at least have some time to be able to go into the battery settings and show you the final outcome. But yeah, 10.53 p.m. It has been a long day. I am exhausted. And you know, I know I've been saying this throughout the entire video, but I gotta tell you guys, battery life on the Pixel 5a is just insane. I mean, battery life is really, really good. But let's go ahead and jump into my battery settings and see what my final usage is and final screen on time. All right, so before we go into the battery settings here, I, I just gotta share this with you guys. I actually went out a little while ago and took some nighttime shots. And this shot right here, this whole scenery that you guys are seeing right now was just completely black. I mean, you couldn't even really see anything out there. Look at this shot right here. This is astrophotography. You can kind of see the stars out in the sky. I'm not really sure if you can tell on camera here, but look at that. You can see the stars in the sky and then it pretty much lit up this whole mountain right here. And then I went out and stood out there. As you can see right here, look at that. I literally had to stand there for about three minutes just to get this shot. And I mean, nighttime shots are just amazing with the cameras on a $450 device. I mean, you can take night photos like this. I mean, this is better than some flagship devices out there. Look at that, amazing. Some great, great nighttime shots right there. And then I also gotta show you one more shot uh, of my son actually, because you know, with kids, it's kind of difficult to take pictures sometimes because of how much they move around and it's really hard to get a nice still shot of them. Well, with this camera right here, the shutter speed is so fast that you don't have to worry about that blur from them moving around. Look at this. Look at how good this shot came out of my son. He was moving right here and I was still able to get a clean shot of him. So the cameras on this phone, they, they ain't no joke. <laughs> they ain't no joke, but let's go ahead and go into my battery settings and see what our outcome is. Here we go, battery. We are now down to 4% battery life left. We better hurry up and take a look at this. So look at this, nine hours and 59 minutes of screen on time. So let's just call it 10 hours of screen on time. Insane, absolutely insane. The fact that I was able to get 10 hours of screen on time in a whole day. I mean, this is a two day phone right here. I mean, I'm, most people aren't going to use their phone as much as I use this today just to try to get it down to 0%. Most people are gonna use it half as much as I did today, which pretty much makes this a two day phone. Five hours of screen on time one day and five hours of screen on time the next. Look at this, absolutely amazing. We'll go into my usage here. And like I said earlier, do keep in mind that screen on time is not everything. This isn't really, uh, take, this is not showing us you know, the times that I was talking on the phone and using the speakers or when I did watch content, you know, sound was coming out of the speakers using a battery or we got the apps that run in the background that do drain the battery as well. So we got to take all that into account as well while doing these battery drain tests. Everything is not just about, you know, the screen on time, but <laughs> look at this. So we got YouTube for two hours, 25 minutes, TikTok for an hour or one minute, Twitter for an hour and 16 minutes. I played a little bit more Call of Duty. I did use the camera, like uh, the pictures I just showed you was uh, some of that camera usage right there. And then I also recorded some more 4K video for a future video I have coming with this as well. So make sure you subscribe if you're not subscribed yet. 
so you can stay tuned for my 4k video test with this device right here and just going down looking at some more of my usage here played a little bit more of dragon ball legends checking my emails look at this so this has pretty much been my usage all day today like i said switching back and forth between a wi-fi connection and that um, data connection whether it be 5g or lte but absolutely amazing battery life with the pixel 5a y'all let me know what you think down in the comment sections below what do you think about the battery life on this device this could definitely be something for power users especially if you don't want to spend too much on a device 450 bucks right here is going to get you some great battery life you can pretty much do whatever you want on this device y'all let me know your thoughts down in the comment sections below if you do find yourself interested in this device i have a link down in the description below if you did like this video and find it helpful make sure to leave it a huge thumbs up don't forget to hit that subscribe button hit that bell for notifications so you don't miss out on any other future videos to come i'm tired i'm exhausted I'm gonna go shower up and <laughs> go to sleep because I gotta wake up early in the morning for work tomorrow. But thank you all so very much for watching. I'll see you on the next one. Peace out.